Hey guys, it's Wednesday. So, you know what that means. What's on it? What's in it? What's on it? What's in it Wednesday? And this week, we're going to see what's on my list of things I'm obsessing about right now. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm obsessed about is my new iPhone 5 and 5S, I guess I should say, and I opted for the champagne colored one, and I decided not to put a case on it. I'm just going to be really careful because it feels really nice in your hand. Mm. And it's so much faster than my old phone. This is always with me, pretty much every day, all day long. I sleep by it. It's the first thing I do in the morning when I get up is turn the alarm off and then sit in bed and look at social media sites. So, iPhone 5S. The next obsession I have is this Kiehl's Cream Decor Body Lotion. Craig and I, were, when we were in the airport going to, to Jamaica, we stopped in and bought this. And we got it on the plane, even though it's 4.2 ounces because we figured when we were in Jamaica we would need lotion for our skin and this is really good. It goes into your skin really quick and it doesn't have a strong odor and I've noticed a significant difference in my skin since I've used it. So I might have to get more because this little bottle's almost gone. My next obsession is this EOS lip balm. It's kind of girly. I don't care. I'm kind of girly. And it's blueberry pomegranate. It smells great and my lips are soft and supple now. Okay, that's a little weird. Did we just make out? We almost made out. Next, Tiger Balm. Craig's brother and now wife. They were the ones we went to the wedding for in Jamaica. When they were here visiting us last year, they were talking about Tiger Balm, and this teeny tiny little jar has lasted me almost a year, and you basically rub it on wherever you're sore, and I almost put it on every night before I go to bed, because I have lots of tension in my shoulders, and it really works. And the, the aroma is kind of menthol-y, camphor-y, camphor-y? Is that a word? I don't know, it's a word now. Um, it's strong, but not overpowering. So, Tiger Balm. My other obsession is melatonin. Five milligrams per tablet. I almost take one of these every single night before bed to help me fall asleep. And I read online that it's a natural antioxidant that helps with stuff in your body. So, melatonin. Just discovered this when I was at Target a while ago. It's Arm & Hammer White Whitening Booster. Clinically proven to whiten in a week. Because I don't like those crest strips, really. They kind of bug me, and then you have to leave them in for two hours. It's a pain in the butt. They never stay on. And they use whitening toothpaste. So I figured I'd give this a try. And I think my teeth are a little whiter. Maybe a little. I drink too much coffee, so it's a never-ending battle. This candle, which I have not even burned yet because it smells so good. And I don't, don't want to really burn it, and it's really expensive. It's Aveda, and it's Shampure. So if you're familiar with the Shampure shampoo and that aroma, this candle smells just like it. I love it. I think it's one of my, my most favorite smells in the entire world. Delicious. Delicious. New obsession, I've talked about this in other videos, is anything from this Neuro collection of beverages that are only 35 calories in this one bottle. And this one is the sleep, so it helps you go to sleep at night. And I don't know if it's just placebo, but I think it works. There's things in here that supposedly help you get a good night's sleep and fall, to, fall asleep quickly. So neurosleep. One of my all-time favorite obsessions, addictions really, are Oreo cookies. And especially these birthday cake ones, it's a vanilla Oreo and the filling has sprinkles in it, and it tastes like 
a piece of heaven, a piece of delicious birthday cake. I love cake. Mmm, cake. Mmm, cake. So, this is kind of how I get my cake filled. And I believe these aren't good for you. I know they're not good for you, but they're vegan. There's no dairy products in here, just other stuff. But it's so good. My final obsession, pistachios. These are salted. And this bag of pistachios from Fairway was $7. So they're kind of expensive, but they are good and they are good for you. And a little trick I learned, I don't know, I think I read it on some website somewhere, but you know how when you have a pistachio and you can't get the nut open? Someone said, take one of the shells from a nut you already opened and jam it in there. To pry open the shell. That way you don't ruin your fingernail. I've been doing that and I haven't hurt my fingernails since that tip I learned. And now you know the tip. So when you're eating pistachios, you can do that too. Because you don't want to break a tooth either. Because I see, like I've tried and I've seen other people like kind of gnawing on that nut to the shell to get it open. So, yeah. So, those are, I guess, I think they're 10. 10 things that are on my list of current obsessions. What are some things that you're obsessed with right now? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share it up to your friends and family, and remember, daydreaming may lead to reality. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! <coughs> hey guys! I can't believe I'm out. It's part of the rest of the guys. No, no. So ever since then, I've never put them back in.